welcome to guide my career this is siva from department of meteorology and oceanography andhra university uh, this is our second video on ocean currents in our first video on ocean currents we saw some of the basic background of ocean currents like uh, what are ocean currents and how do they form and why should we study about ocean currents and uh, types of ocean currents and <clears throat> factors affecting ocean currents all these uh, like this all we studied in our first video right but in the second video i would like to show some uh, major ocean currents in a uh, three major oceans like first big atlantic and indian okay or uh, this table which i created uh, shows you uh, about all the major ocean currents in a uh, three major oceans in a uh, detail see for suppose if you take any any um current from this table for suppose sushima sushima current from that what can you say sushima current is a warm current and it is located in a north pacific means uh, this how detail you can say about any ocean current uh, in a ocean when you look at this table okay <clears throat> this is a table which you uh, might not get anywhere because uh, even if you search in a um, google about ocean currents you might get some of uh, only famous current names only you might get but you can't get uh, these many current names because uh, <clears throat> because it is very important to know all these many current names because uh, for suppose if you are preparing for any exam like a cs or net exam <clears throat> at that time it you need to know all these uh, many current names and alternate names of uh, each and individual current everything you should know then only <clears throat> you can answer uh, any question on the ocean currents okay so <clears throat> before going to proceed with i would like to say one thing uh, that uh, you should have some uh, basic idea basic uh, uh, idea on uh, all other means you should know all the uh, famous country names throughout the world uh, in order to understand this uh, current concept means for suppose why i am saying this uh, because for suppose if i am saying about uh, guinea current gulf stream current florida current trishma current you might not understand if you are not really aware of uh, um, all current country names throughout the world so why i am saying because if you are aware of these uh, uh, country names means if you know for suppose if i am explaining about the kuroshio current if you know the uh, kuroshio where it is then you can easily understand uh, okay what i am telling you can imagine what i am while i am telling about that current if we, if you don't know really where it is florida or suppose where it is uh, mozambique it 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 might be difficult to you to understand while i am explaining about that current okay for this for simplicity to understand you should have some uh, idea on the major country names throughout the world okay because why i am saying each current name each current is named after the region along which travel okay so Uh, to understand this sentence see i am repeating this sentence all the currents generally named after the regions along which they travel okay so to understand this sentence i will say one example for suppose if i am saying about uh, brazil current okay so why we are calling this uh, current as a brazil because that current is traveling along the coast of brazil that's why it getting it's getting that name because because of that flow of current what we are calling flow of that water what we are calling as a current it's getting that name a brazil particular name brazil current because it's traveling along the coast of brazil okay this how uh, every current will get name like that okay and uh, we will see uh, <clears throat> uh, what are the major ocean currents in uh, each ocean wise okay so if you see the pacific ocean in that we can see north equatorial current south equatorial current equatorial counter current equatorial under or cromwell current el nino or counter current this all uh, those who belongs to equatorial we can call them as a equatorial current system in this in which we we see north equatorial south equatorial equatorial counter current north equatorial as we know that a uh, north equatorial current is uh, um, is due to the presence of uh, north north easterlies similarly south equatorlies and due to presence of south easterlies and equatorial counter is to balance because of the brother because of the uh, north and uh, south equatorial uh, prevailing uh, means flowing towards the <coughs> westward there is one another current will form that is a south uh, equatorial counter current this to balance this uh, 
water uh, flow um, uh, along the western side of the ocean uh, to balance it there is one current that is a equatorial counter current it flows in a reverse in which flows reverse in a direction of the both north and south equatorial currents okay another one there is another current equatorial under equatorial under means why we are calling equatorial under because it, this is the current flows along the equator and beneath the surface means under the surface that's why we are calling it as equatorial under current we can also call it as a cromwell current similarly there is a current that is el nino current uh, this it is somewhat look like uh, equatorial counter current at the time of if it is at the time of means we can say that if it is a equatorial current equatorial counter current at the time of el nino then it will be comes under el nino counter current similarly kuroshio it is a <coughs> Uh, western boundary of the means the western boundary of the uh, north pacific ocean it flows and sushma current it is flow it flows along the japan coast japan coast and north pacific drift it is a somewhat extension of the kuroshio current is uh, one of the warm current here i am telling all the first i am telling all the ocean warm currents in whole pacific ocean means uh, north pacific east equatorial pacific south pacific okay and Aleutian current, Aleutian current also called also be called as a subarctic current and Alaska current. You can see while I'm explaining, you you might see uh, in this picture. Uh, you can see the all um, current names and East Australian. Say. East Australian current is a warm current which is in South uh, Pacific um, along the east side of the east uh, east side of the Australia means east coast of the Australia. Okay. And coming to the cold currents, there is one cold current that is a California current and Kamchatka current. You can see Kamchatka and uh, both uh, Vyashiya very nearby. Um, those are the two uh, cold currents. <coughs> and another famous cold current in the uh, South Pacific Ocean that is a Peru current. Peru current. We can call it as also Humboldt current. And the last one is the West West Wind Drift. This is, this is the uh, this, again. This is the one of the um, major current which is cold and a common current means which is common for the, uh, the these three oceans like pacific atlantic and indian okay this is all um, about the major ocean currents both uh, warm and cold in pacific ocean and coming to the atlantic similarly we discussed it already just now before north equatorial south equatorial equatorial counter current these are all the common for every ocean and coming to the guinea <coughs> Guinea current and uh, Guinea current we can see here uh, somewhere uh, where it is exactly means uh, west coast of the uh, Africa means in uh, North Atlantic west side of the Africa you can see the Guinea current similarly Florida current you can see west side of the North Atlantic Ocean that is nothing but the east side of the North America and similarly Caribbean the along the Caribbean islands there is one flow uh, which shows uh, red in mark um, <coughs> red in color that is a warm current and uh, Antilles current and North Atlantic drift, um, Norwegian current which flows along the coast of Norway and Irminger current which is of one of the part of this uh, North Atlantic drift we can say and uh, another one uh, another warm current in uh, South Atlantic Ocean that is a Brazil current. So these are all the warm currents in North Atlantic Ocean means whole Atlantic Ocean whatever the um, warm currents we have till now we saw okay and coming to the cold currents in uh, Atlantic Ocean. We can say that uh, East Greenland current. There is one current along which flows along the Greenland, and that is a uh, East Greenland. And uh, further that, which which all these currents are coming from the force because they are cold. And uh, another current is there, uh, and very nearby that that is a Labrador current, which is coming from Labrador and uh, Bengula current. There is uh, one current in a um, South Atlantic Ocean which is cold and coming towards the equator. <coughs> And another current is there that is Falkland current in South Atlantic Ocean and uh, it's uh, uh, starting from uh, south, southern tip of the South America and uh, there is one other current that uh, what we discussed in uh, our previous um, <coughs> Pacific question also that is count for every version that is a west wind drift okay transport of it is very high when compared to the rest of whole currents okay and coming to the Indian Ocean uh, uh, Indian Ocean is uh, somewhat means uh, the current system of the Indian Ocean is uh, somewhat different from the two major oceans like a Pacific and uh, 
Indian Ocean. I will tell you later how it is different. Um, uh, first, we will see uh, what are the currents we have uh, in Indian Ocean. So, <coughs> uh, as we know that uh, North Equatorial, South Equatorial, Equatorial counter currents, because uh, till now we discussed it, what are those. And another one is the Indonesian through flow. Indonesian ITF, we can call it as also Indonesian through flow. It is uh, along the somewhat, most of this current flows uh, lies along the equator of the, the equator. That's why equatorial Indian Ocean. So what does it uh, do? Uh, it allows the water from first peak to uh, <clears throat> Indian Ocean through the Indonesia. Okay, that's why we are calling as, means it is a through flow. That's why we are calling as a, Indian Indonesian through flow okay similarly there is one warm current that is a Somalia current and uh, another famous uh, one of the most famous warm current in uh, Indian Ocean that is Aglas current which is in South, uh, South Indian Ocean similarly Mozambique which flows along the channel of Mo Mozambique similarly Madagascar current means the part of the South equatorial current Diverted into diverted towards the uh, Madagascar uh, uh, island uh, and flows as a Madagascar current. So another one is a Levian current, which is uh, there is one unique uniqueness of the uh, this current is that which is the warm current, but it travels <coughs> along the uh, eastern boundary of the uh, ocean. Means uh, if you see till now. Every uh, warm ocean current always flows along the western boundary of the ocean. But what are the uh, uniqueness of this Levian current is it is a warm current, but it flows along the eastern boundary of the <coughs> ocean. This is the uniqueness of this uh, Levian current. Okay. And coming to the cold currents, those are as we discussed uh, previous in two oceans, those, that is a west wind drift. And West Australian current, another cold current in South Indian Ocean, and uh, another two currents are there. In that, uh, I told in, at the start, at the starting of this uh, Indian Ocean current, which is uh, different from uh, two major oceans, because here you can get two other currents like a North East Monsoon current and South East South West Monsoon current. So this is the currents we can get at the time of monsoon, which prevails around the India and Indian Ocean. Okay. And another current is there that uh, west, these are the coastal currents. So, which I told just now, a uh, northeast and southwest monsoon, these are all the seasonal currents. Means at the time of season only, you can see that current. Okay, that's why we are calling these two as a seasonal currents, SC. Okay, and similarly, there is one current uh, that is WICC, West Indian Coastal Current. Similarly, East Indian Coastal Currents. These two are the coastal currents that uh, because of uh, these are the coastal currents and these are the traveling these are the flowing along the west coast of the india that's why we are calling west indian coastal current similarly in case of east india these are the currents coastal currents similarly they are flowing along the east coast of india that's why we are calling east india coastal currents so i told uh, this is the <coughs> one of the means the current system of the indian ocean is different from the uh, uh, that is what uh, Pacific and uh, Atlantic. Why? Because because of the uh, shape of the Indian Ocean means uh, the closed shape of the Indian Ocean and uh, mons prevailing of the means presence of the monsoon system or the Indian and Indian Ocean makes the Indian Ocean current system uh, as a different from the two other oceans. See, I can say in a simple a sing, a sim, single word, I can say how uh, does this uh, different from the two oceans because in gen uh, so uh, south indian ocean uh, is the same for uh, is the same as the two other oceans it doesn't change with respect to season season only north indian ocean north indian ocean only uh, changes with respect to season because the current system of the uh, current system of the north indian ocean only will get change with respect to season means uh, uh, northeast and southwest monsoon in a Southwest monsoon, southwest monsoon season, no similarity means uh, no nothing difference, no dif no difference you can uh, find uh, when compared to the <coughs> no difference you can find in uh, North Indian Ocean and during the southwest monsoon season. But during the northeast monsoon season, 
you can uh, find uh, difference from the uh, you can find the difference of the uh, circulation I mean so current circulation of the North Indian Ocean from the rest of the two North Indian I mean so North Pacific and North Atlantic Ocean okay <clears throat> because in the, at the during the northeast monsoon season um, you can't get and you can't see uh, equatorial currents equatorial currents in the north indian ocean whereas uh, at the time of the eras at the whereas in the pacific and uh, uh, atlantic ocean you can uh, see equatorial current system during that time but that is the, that is that is one of the uh, different thing in a indian ocean okay so i hope i you enjoyed this class if it is really useful to you you just said you just said this information to your friends uh, and please uh, don't forget and please uh, comment and suggest me uh, for the further uh, videos and uh, have a good day ahead thank you